Hello guys, it's Nim and welcome back to the last episode of Spooktober 2020. That's right, it is the last Wednesday of October, which means the last and final day of our Spooktober month on this channel. So if you haven't watched all of these Spooktober videos, make sure you watch them. There will be a playlist linked at the end of this video and also linked down below where you can check them all out and you will see what pretty homes and scary recreations we have built over, well, in this month, basically. I believe there are 10 builds because October had five weeks. So there will be 10 spooky builds. So uh, go check them out if you haven't already, but watch this first video, like watch this one first and then go watch the other ones. So today we are trying to recreate the Jack, the home of Jack Skeleton from A Nightmare Before Christmas. And I want to emphasize on the word try because I failed. It is a fail, just so you know that. So it's a loose interpretation that I mispronounced that word, but that's okay. So um, yeah, this home didn't quite work out the way that I wanted it, but you know what, that's fine. It's all okay, it doesn't really bug me at all, even though it actually really bothers me, but I tried. I have to be honest, like um, Nightmare Before Christmas, I love that movie, it's one of my favorite movies. Like, I love it. I love it so much. I used to watch it as a kid all the time, but obviously I would watch it in Dutch. And I was never able to find a Dutch version anywhere. And now, thankfully to Disney+, Plus, I can watch the Dutch version. And I gotta tell you, those songs in Dutch, mm, they're so good. So, so, so good. The voices are amazing. Really proud of it. Like, that was in the days where the Dutch people actually knew how to synchronize something. So, now they don't, because now everything's just awful voicing, but it used to be really, really, really good. So, Nightmare Before Christmas, done good in Dutch. Absolutely love it. Really proud of it. One of my favorites all time, like, uh, I don't want to say it's a really scary movie. It's also really short. It's only like uh, an hour and 15 minutes. So really, really short. I was expecting something like a little bit longer. I actually, um, you can probably see by now the shape of the build. Um, I, at the in it took me the entire movie to build this. I just had the, mu the movie on in the background because I was listening to the music. And um, that's how long it took me to build this. So yeah. I'm not very proud of this build, I'm gonna be honest with that, I um, I think in the end it looks kind of cute, but it's definitely not the home of Jack Skeleton. And once I realized that, I was just interior-wise, I'm just like, yeah, I'll do whatever I want, I don't really care anymore. But I have to say, um, we ended up making this uh, pumpkin graveyard thing, like, all around the home, and I absolutely love the way that that turned out, I think it turned out really well but you will see that later in this video right now we are still working on the floor plan and there really isn't much of a floor plan just place some ladders so we can get to the top of these towers thank goodness for ladders otherwise it would be downright impossible to build a like tower that narrow so thank goodness for that and obviously because this is the nightmare before christmas we are giving it a good halloween feel so we are using dark colors dark flooring and i just love it i love that wallpaper it's from the vampire pack one of the best wallpapers absolutely love it like really 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 love it obviously um we are done with the exterior of the home right now we are going to do the graveyard you know because jack skeleton lives in halloween town where there are a lot of graves and scary things and if you have never watched the nightmare before christmas go watch it the music is amazing some of my favorite songs are in there just love it love it love it can't stress that enough how much i love it so right now we are just recreating this graveyard and i wanted to make it look like this was kind of a an old-fashioned graveyard where just graves were added as it was necessary so they're all like crisscross all together a bit mixed we put some animal graves in there because obviously jack has a dog called zero so he's here as well and i just love the way that it turns out and then obviously we are adding in some pumpkins and these pumpkins mm, they're so good it looks so good like it makes it look really halloweeny when i was making this build the exterior was like eh, no i failed whatever i can just better if i stop and then i was like you know what before i do anything else in this home i'm going to make this pumpkin graveyard 
and I'm just gonna do it like that. So that is what we are doing. And I have to say, I feel like this pumpkin graveyard thing really worked out, it really did wonders. Especially when we look at it in night mode, which we are going to do in a few minutes, I believe, when we are adding some lights. And we are actually going to add the ghost lights, which is awesome because obviously um, Halloween Town ghosts, duh. Also, we are sizing pumpkins up and sometimes we are downsizing them to make it look like we have a little bit of a fire. Difference in sizes. I can't even pronounce that word. I'm sorry. I'm not even going to bother as well because I just I can't say it. Whatever. So I will take this time. We are just still placing pumpkins, which is you know um, kind of boring, if you ask me, because um, I was just placing pumpkins. I really love the way that uh, they're all like all over the place, but it looks like it's done on purpose. I just really appreciate it. And there we go with the ghost lights. And obviously we're adding the sad ghost because we're nightmare before Christmas. We are not happy dream before Christmas. We are nightmare before Christmas. So, you know, that's why we need to have a nightmare ghost. So ghosts who look sad. And then we are adding just a little bit more light um, behind some of the graves to get this really glowy feeling. Same with on the home. We are just adding some lights, trying to hide them under the roof. So under the shingles, just to make it look like you have that uh, that glow. And I actually really like the way that it looks. Quite quite happy with it. And then obviously we are adding some terrain paint because you know um, these graves are uh, reasonably dark. At least some of them are. So there's gonna be some messed up dirt around it. So and that's completely fine. I mean it's all natural. It's nothing you wouldn't find in a normal cemetery. And then obviously we are trying to add some tree trunks and I believe we are going to add the tree trunk from the um, Journey to the 2 pack. Uh, I don't like a lot about that pack, but that tree trunk, love it, gotta love it, absolutely appreciate it. So and then we're adding some more vampire stuff. So guys, this being the, vi the final episode of um, Spooktober means that I have my hands full or really open for other projects. So. Hit me up, let me know down below what you would like to see. I already had some suggestions on my Instagram of what I could build and I'm totally going to take that into consideration and see if I can make it. And if you don't follow me on my Instagram uh, yet, there's a link down in the description, one for my personal, one for my Simstagram, where you get like uh, sneak previews and stuff like that. Although sneak previews last week kind of haven't been happening because I was so incredibly busy. But it is my goal to do some sneak previews there, so follow me on that. You can chat to me if you want to, you can send me messages. I'll always try to respond to any to everyone. Sometimes, it, you know, of course, time being, it doesn't always work out, but I try to respond to everyone. I try to see all the messages, so do make sure you follow me on that as well. You can give me some suggestions of what to build. I already have quite a list, but you know, there's always room for more. Just hit me up. And in two weeks, is it two or three weeks? Hang on, uh, the 14th of November, that's in one, two and a half week, the new uh, expansion pack will arrive at The Sims 4, that being Snowy Escape. And obviously, um, since I'm already a total dweeb, we are going into the world of anime and manga and Japanese movies. And I already have a ton of builds that I want to do and that I'm going to build so I'm excited I really really am but you know if you're like me like total dweeb um, let me know in the in the comments obviously if you have some inf oh, I don't say information inspiration for a build I'm sorry here like it is literally like almost eight o'clock and I'm making this voiceover for like tomorrow because I'm recording this voiceover yesterday from the day that you're watching it. So it's Tuesday, I'm uploading it on Wednesday. But I know that I have a late meeting on Wednesday, so I can't do the voiceover dance, so I'm doing it now. And, oh, busy, busy, busy. Anyways, so um, do let me know anything you would like me to build. I'm totally open for anything, except, of course, um, creepy requests. I'm not quite sure what creepy request could be, but... Um, if you have a creepy request and you're like, this could be creepy, I probably won't build it because, you know, I'm into creepy stuff, but not the kind of creepy stuff. I don't know why I'm saying this. I'm sorry. My mind is just, well, I can't even 
I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This is such a bad video. I will do my best to make better voiceovers, I promise, guys, okay? Starting next week, I will make better, more informative voiceovers. Ooh, that's what I wanted to tell. So last year, before this entire COVID uh, thing happened in October, I went to Disney with one of my best friends. And I actually saw Jack Skeleton and I was just like, oh my gosh, it's Jack Skeleton, that's so cool. And he looked quite amazing, you know, obviously because, you know, Disney costumes are really good. And he was there at the uh, Haunted Mansion taking pictures and all these little, there was this one little kid. And he was completely terrified of Jack, he was crying and I just thought it was so funny, so, you know, that happened. <laughs> that's what up. I mean, that's about all the interesting things that happened in my life. It really sucks when your country's in a uh, smart lockdown again. You can't really go anywhere because everything's closed, so you can't really meet up with people because you're not allowed, because then you get a fine. So, um, yeah. I basically have no stories. You know, that, that, that's just the story of my life. It's just work, eat, record videos, sleep. That, that's it. That's my life right now, which is quite boring, but you know what the worst thing is? You get used to it, so I fear that if everything goes open again, I'm just too tired to do anything and I'm just... I can't even. Guys, I can't even. I can't. I just can't. Also, uh, yes, we are adding snowflakes and Christmas things because, you know, Nightmare Before Christmas. Jack is obsessed with Christmas, so we are adding some Christmas trees, we're adding some Christmas decorations. We're adding some books on Christmas because he thinks himself a uh, self-taught expert. Which a lot of people think of themselves as well in these uh, pandemic times, so... Just uh, look at what happens with Jack um, if you're not, like, master or doctor in viruses. Maybe don't go spreading your illogical things about it, okay? Just don't do it, guys. Don't do it. Anyways, we are now just rounding up with the living room and I think the only thing that we have left to do after this is the bathroom. I think that's it, or did we already do the bathroom and I didn't see it? Oh, my mind is all just... Wah! So I can't even begin to comprehend what I've seen or what I didn't. Ah, there's the bathroom. Yeah, so we're doing the bathroom and that is it then, guys. That's the entire build. It's not the best build, I'm going to admit it. I'm not really proud of it, but you know, it's here. We're just gonna have to make it work and, you know, appreciate its ugly form. I mean, it just do that for me, guys. So, anyways, I will try to do my best to make better uh, builds, obviously, and better voiceovers because my mind is just completely not up to it. But, you know, I didn't want to miss the final day of Spooktober, so here I am. And, guys, I hope you have a very happy Halloween if you celebrate that. Um, my country personally doesn't. And if you are going to celebrate it, um, celebrate it safe. And I will hope to see you on the next video. <laughs> Bye, guys.